Hey everyone, Captain John here. Today we're going to be taking a quick trip, a day trip to Sacramento. We're going to be picking up the uh, Denaire High School soccer team. And we are going to be heading to the college up there. I'm going to do it. I know what I'm doing. Hold on. This one? There we go. I got some lights. Get the lights going in here. <clears throat> Pre tripping the bus. Make sure everything's okay to go. So the soccer team we're picking up today, it's actually a pretty big deal. Because today, they are in the playoffs. So, uh, Denaire High School soccer team in the playoffs for uh, their soccer division. Uh, I'm not sure how many uh, teams are in the division. <clears throat> but that's a pretty big deal being in the playoffs, so good for them. Uh, so we'll get to document that today. I'll show you around. Uh, we're going up to the um, some college campus to their stadium uh, to play the game, and then we'll bring him back tonight and be done. Just a quick trip, like I said. So here we go. So before we get down the road, I met somebody the other day, Carl, one of my followers. First time I've uh, met a follower um, since I've been out of trucking and driving a bus. Um, I mean, I've had a lot of my followers from trucking continue to follow me, which is awesome. But uh, when I was out trucking, you know, I would run into people all the time, especially at truck stops. Uh, I would get recognized at least twice a week. People come up to me, want to take a picture with me, stuff like that. So uh, this is the first time since I've been busing that somebody actually um, knew who I was from YouTube. Uh, so I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. So uh, check hey it out. guys, so I ran into somebody who watches me on YouTube and I just wanted to do some real quick, really cool guy. His name is Carl and here he is. Carl, how you doing buddy? Hi there, hi, yeah. So Carl, why don't you uh, tell us a little about yourself and how you found store and why you're here? Well, I was out trawling YouTube in a terrible, terrible bus driver's job and I saw Captain John there and I thought to myself, this sounds cool. This sounds cool. So I came here, and thanks to him, I started today. So I'm going to be out there, Bus Test Express, and I met a celebrity. It's fantastic. <laughs> Hardly a celebrity. Hardly. <laughs> it was nice to meet you finally, Carl. I know we kind of talked uh, through email and everything. So it was nice to meet you, and uh, hey, I'll see you all down the road. I'll see you then. I'm going to go try and fight the Russia back home. Yeah. Be safe. <laughs> So I just dropped off my group over in the stadium and I parked right over here and look who showed up right behind me I got Aaron my buddy he pulled up uh, right behind me in uh, the 45 footer so mine's right here this is a 40 foot van hole it's a 45 foot van hole you can kind of see the difference in size uh, that one's a 55 passenger 46 passenger motor coach uh, pretty much the same on the inside and uh yeah and we also have a delta another delta came in right behind us over there so uh obviously other other teams and supporters that came out to watch the game that's what they're here for and delta showed up with one of their Timsas. it's one of their small i think that's a 30 foot i could be wrong but i think that's a 30 foot passenger bus i'm guessing that sits seats around uh 28 to 33 passengers could be wrong but that would make sense. 30 or 35 feet, anywhere from 25 to 35 passengers. Here's one of the uh, electric, or not electric, it's um, powered by natural clean gas. One of our transit buses here in Sacramento. I wonder if uh, 
K1. I wonder what company you drive for, K1. I know you're here in the Sacramento area, but I'm not sure which trans agency you work for. Uh, maybe maybe I'll see you out here, K1. If you're uh, if you drive uh, this route, I'm over here by the uh, can't say it, guys. Casumnes, C O S U M N E S, Casumnes River College, uh, and uh, yeah. So in case you guys missed my live stream, uh, which I actually just did here momentarily, uh, but uh, at a different time. And when this video has been updated or uploaded, um, just so I, I made an announcement that I will be attending the UMA from February 23rd through February 26th or 25th. And uh, yeah, it's an expo basically showing all the brand new buses and equipment and all kinds of vendors. Uh, never been to a convention like this before, so I'm really super excited to get some videos out there for you guys. I might do another live at the convention itself. Uh, but most exciting is at the end of the convention on Friday, uh, I believe that's the 25th, could be the 26th of February, I'm actually competing in a, um, a driver's rodeo, so we do a written test, uh, there may be a few other things we have to do, and then we actually actually do an obstacle course with cones, and we drive a 45 foot bus, uh, so if uh, some of you kind of caught, uh, caught on a little bit in some of my previous videos, I know Paul, uh, one of my co-workers, here at store, he's caught on to this. And uh, I had mentioned that uh, I might be doing something with a Prevo here coming up in the near future. Um, so that kind of perked his ears like a Prevo. Wait, we're getting some Prevos? Uh, no, unfortunately our company is not getting Prevo. Um, but Prevo is sponsoring the UMA event. And I can only assume that means I'll be, I will be driving a Prevo during the driver's competition. So the good thing is I will get to experience driving a Prevo. I've never driven one before, I've never stepped foot in one before, so I'm really excited to to um, experience that. However, it's also a little nerve-wracking because I've never been in one, I've never driven one, and now I'm most likely going to have to drive a 45-foot Prevo in a driving competition against 30, 40 other drivers from the entire country. It's a nationwide competition. Um, very first time ever in this bus, and I'm going to have to drive through an obstacle course with it. <laughs> so little nerve-wracking. I'm representing my company. I'm the only driver my company is sending to do this competition. Uh, so I'm completely honored and humbled that they did uh, choose me out of everyone that drives for our company. Um, Donald Store, our owner, um, approved uh, me to be the driver. So uh, thank you to the Store family uh, who uh, still own and operate this wonderful uh, company. Uh, thank you guys for, for sitting me down and um, having faith in me to get this competition uh, under our belt and actually um, win. You know, I want to place at least third, second, or first. Definitely want to place because every time we've gone to this competition before, we have not placed. So I'm really looking forward to bringing that trophy home for the company and, of course, for myself. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, we're going to finish up this game here and uh, we're going to head back to Denair and call it a night. So our team won. They won the uh, the playoffs. They are going to the championship. So congratulations to them. And Delta's going to meet up with us. We're going to have some lunch. Get these guys fed and get them back to Denier. Let's go do it for this episode.
Congratulations again to Denaire High School soccer team for winning. Uh, they have, I think, two more games to play in the divisional championships before they move on to the state championships. So good luck to you guys. I might not see you uh, before you play those games. So good luck to you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the UMA. My driving competition is next week. I'll be definitely posting some videos, like I said. I might do a live. So we'll see you then. We'll see you down the road.